Well, welcome back to uh, I'm at Mechanical. And uh, in today's episode, I'm going to be uh, stripping down the back axle on a Peugeot 206 CC. Um, See, I have to take off this brake copper and take out this ties up there for the brake pipe and the brake balancer. Uh, you can probably see further in there I've disconnected the ABS lead. I've got to disconnect that down there, disconnect that, disconnect the shocker, and there's about a few jobs on the other side to do. We'll capture them shortly. Um, I'm going to crack this uh, caliper off first, and I shall see you. Caliper off, flying on the deck. There's a brake pipe there, but I don't think it'll be in my way. The handbrake's disconnected. Uh, to go around the other side now, release the torsion bar. I'll have to try and release that as well, I'll probably have to heat that. Um, fairly easy. That bolt's there. That bolt's there. Can't see it in my hand, but now you can see it there. And then the shock. Um, so far, so good. If I get stripped down the day, I'll be happy. It's only a short break, but I thought it would be a flexi that, but no. Well, needs to mess when the devil drives in. Right, be back at you in a minute. That's that prized off there with, I don't know, I have a. This is a Volkswagen stud, but I ain't a Volkswagen stud. I used a uh, same as, but same thread as that M12 um, axle bolt for my Volkswagen. But it uh, does the same job. Anyway, going to have to take shelter from the storm. It's raining at the moment, so I'm going to tip things upside down and we we'll got a cup of tea. But we funny shaped washer. Uh, here, bar out. I'm just coming away from the axle slowly. But sorry about the noise. Builders are running over by. Can't do anything about it. Um, it's coming away slowly. Could really do a mic here to hold it while I had. The suspension is bouncing quite a bit. Uh, bouncing up and down quite a bit, mixed on oh, it here, it shouldn't be long, but yeah, we'll get there. Right, okay then, we'll see you at the next step. See he's done at the torsion bar, I would say. Uh, we'll, soon, we'll soon walk it off there. Okay, right, we'll see the size this. That bit there, the torsion bar, as it goes into the stub axle or trailing arm, looks like to me that it's seized on the torsion bar. I'm battering it with a 14 pound hammer, a 3 pound hammer. Um, the only other thing I can think of doing is getting it heat. It will come, but it's stuck inside the cast. So, I'm just emphasising that that's probably the hardest part of the job. The rest of it, piss easy. The gun of the job is to get that bar out from hitting the back of it. You see the smoke coming off it. That's how hot I've got it. It still won't fucking move. I'm hitting it with a sledgehammer, look. That's the torques on the lower torsion bar for the left hand side. 
just there. Um, I have no way of accessing that at all from here. I suppose I could move that and hope that it would go. I'm pulling it back this way. But I don't think it will. Um, no idea. Um, that's the other one up there. So the left's not really connected on that side to the right, but the weight of this, which is still attached to the shocker, might still be holding it in place. So I am going to try something to unthree it. Uh, as I say, that Torx isn't really accessible from this side, uh, so I, I can't even put a puller on it to pull that out. Uh, it's not really accessible. Uh, that's her there, but eh, that's the one for the right hand side. I've sprayed it, I can, I've even tried to get my bar in, I'd probably have to undo this, undo the handbrake cable anyway, right? But, you know, it doesn't look as if that one would come out any easier, if you know what I'm saying. Because, I'm pretty sure that's on splines as well, isn't it? Uh, I will have a go. Ah, oh, never let it be said that I'm a defeatist, like. I will have a go at it. But, uh, looks like it might just be the same old shit. You know what I'm saying? Give it a go and see ya. To local scrapyard, to see if I get an axle for it. But, uh, there's not one there. So, well there is one there, but there's two cars on top of it and uh, there isn't any much chance of them moving them. So, um, I'm back to hitting it and heating it. So, and the rain's just started. So, well, bring this back when I've got So after whacking it. <laughs> Again and again and again from both sides. It still isn't fucking moving. So, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, it's starting to do my nothing. Um, still not fucking moving. You can see it there. It hasn't moved one inch. Uh, so. I'm giving up another day but I'm giving up and I haven't got any further on than where I was before huh leave it soaking overnight hopefully I don't know can't see it myself like that's an empty can by the way uh, can't see it Wait up. Wait up.